What's up, y'all? We're here at the UDS in Kansas City 2018, and we're here with Rob Loa. Rob so. Loa. Uh, how'd you do this weekend? Terrible. Terrible? No, not too terrible, I guess. Not too terrible. You got top 32 at least? Yeah, made day two. Um, went 6 0, and then lost four straight. Uh, uh, maybe not take. Uh, everything from his deck profile, edit it, and gear it towards trick stars because I can't beat that deck to save my life. Sure. What'd you play? I played uh, the Invoked with Mech Knight, similar to the Nats top. Uh, we tweaked it just a little bit. So expected to play a lot of Goki, and it didn't happen. Um, a lot of pure. Yeah, a lot of pure and a lot of trick star for some reason. It's like I thought I was going to be playing um, like a better. Uh, it's, no, it's not fair to say better players. I felt like the better players were going to play Goki, and I, I thought that's where it'd end up, but it went the other way, so. For sure. It happens. Let's see the list. All right. So, of course, we got three. Max uh, Rarity. Right. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, and then the Mech Knight stuff. I just played six. Uh, I feel like that's all you need. Um, yeah, not much really to say about that. Just a good lineup. Yeah, I think it's, it's it's okay. But shit, I lost four in a row, so like this could be total trash. I don't know what to say right now. Um, two of these things, these are really good. Um, open up a lot of options, so I think two is cool. Um, and then I played the Cyber Dragon again. Like I said, gearing towards Goki. Uh, really good card, but uh, doesn't really do much against Trickstar. And mm -hmm. usually get side out. Um, I continue to play three of these. I don't think it's the best hand trap, but you need fire. Yeah. Uh, I feel like um, Draco was actually picture, picking up a lot of uh, friction too. Fuck this guy. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, I'll just keep going. Yeah. Uh, so these were pretty much like the monster hand traps. Um, I think this is like the second best hand trap. Gamma is definitely the best hand trap, but oh, for sure. I have like the worst luck with Gamma. And with this deck, it's harder because like you always have a monster, like either this or Mech Knight. Um, so Gamma became a dead a lot. And I played three desires, so my luck, I'd banish the driver or, dri or draw it. So. That is the monster lineup. I don't know how many there are, but there's quite a few. Um, spells, I will always keep playing two, unless like uh, Alistair goes down more or something like that, but yeah, this was cool. I didn't draw too many multiples. Um, I played three of these again. They're cool. Um, they help with the new Alistair play too. Uh, the problem was I kept seeing, I was playing two, but the problem was I'd have one, search out one with Alistair, and then I have nothing to search with the, the link. And I don't want to play book a lot. I don't think it's that good. So three's, three's good. Uh, I played three desires also for uh, just in case we banished two. Mm -hmm. I've never banished three, but we'll see what happens. And then we also play the Sky Striker stuff. I feel like it's really good. You don't have to, but it does it does add plays. Could you know draw through your deck? It's not bad. Yeah. So, does this does this replace like your is this like your secondary draw engine kind of? Uh, kind of like uh, it puts a monster on board, puts a fire in graveyard mm -hmm. with the uh, Kagari. Um, tokens are nice. To just uh, it's just good synergy. Um, I think, it's, I think it's really good, and I highly recommend playing with the engine. It's only six cards. You can get away with doing these things, too. Essentially, they do the same thing, but, I mean, this the extra draw helps in thinning of deck. Since sure. I play 45, it's okay. cool to thin the deck. Uh, I decided to go three of these today. Hand Trap City, like, uh, Droll. I don't I don't know if people are still playing Droll. I know the Trick Stars are, because I have to, but Droll is just, I think, the worst hand trap. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know if people are still playing it. Um, Ash Hurts, Veil Hurts. So, um, I thought this was safe. Yep. And with Goki too, it's not bad. Um, three is cool. I didn't like. I didn't. not really more to say. And then I did double twin twister for um, the pure and uh, what's the other card? Uh, two Dracos. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Two Dracos. Yeah. Yeah. So I almost went three, but two is cool. And then also with that, almost the same, like for same reason. I went three evenly matched in the main. Um, and three impermanence. I think impermanence is like one of the best too. I think it's like the second best. Yes, I love that card. Trap. And it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So yeah, that was the main. Forty-five main cards. Forty-five. Anything you would change? <laughs> um, 
I, I don't know, like, going forward, they talk, like, every, like, four minutes, I swear. Um, depending on... Uh, I'm sorry your videos will be longer for this guy. All my videos are long because of this. I know, what an asshole. Um, okay, just kidding. She's probably an asshole. Keep saying like all his so stuff. Like, anyways, I would, fuck this guy. Okay, uh, I would, I would probably change a few things in this deck with this current list, but we should see something Monday uh, for the 200. So this deck will probably change a lot. Um, I would gear it more towards uh, the Trickstar and Pure, mm -hmm. and take the loss to Goki. I did the total opposite. Uh, for this event, and it cost me uh, possible top. Sure. So yeah, I'd probably gear it towards more of those decks. Uh, I guess we'll go extra. I think that's yeah, that's fine. Um, I played the Mech Knight God. These are the only Mech Knights I play. Um, this card's amazing. What does that card do? So this card, if it's the only card in its column, they attack directly. If it points to nothing, I guess down here. If it points to nothing, it can't be uh, targeted or destroyed by card effects. So the only way to get over this is battle. Seems pretty good, and it's 3K. 3K, yeah. So. Philip Bravo. God damn it, Philip. Philip Bravo. Uh, your uh, about to yeah, this, this is a good card, and, it, and uh, this really Bravo. helped because uh, all this is is a Mech Knight, and any monster can make this. So it's like Mech Knight and a token make this, and then you need one more Mech Knight, and it makes this thing. So you need uh, two Mech Knights and a monster to make this thing. And it's, it's really good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, a lot of decks have trouble getting over that. Uh, let's see, more links. Nightmare stuff. We play this, ban this, please. Um, that card's really good. Yes, I think, yeah, just three. Uh, this really helps with the combos. Uh, like this, uh, I'm sorry, Alistair and a um, Sky Striker card is like OTK, just because yeah, yeah. of this, this card right here. It's, it's pretty good, I mean, so you have to run it. Mm -hmm. um, so there's those ones, what other link? Played the Alistair Link, only one. That's card. It's it's decent. Um, you only go to one, go to, into one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would never play two. You're not right now, at least. Um, yeah, one's fine. It opens up options. It's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, I played one Saruja as my Link fours and Borosword, Borosword, uh, OTK. This and. Um, Sky Blaster is this. Oh, I'm sorry, Sky Blaster and the Side Striker is this. Uh, same with this. So it just kind of depends. Like, first turn, I try to go this sometimes. Mm -hmm. Depends. Um, so, yeah, I think you need these two for sure. Maybe not need, but it's nice to have them. Um, Sky Striker stuff, we play just these two. I wouldn't go blue because this deck um, doesn't have much defense. So, like, living, like, Trying to live for a turn with Goki running around and uh, now pure sky, blast, sky strikers could uh, OTK with Boar Sword. It's sure. blue is kind of pointless. Mm -hmm. but these are cool. Um, and then the fusions, of course, the Cyber Dragon one, Mirror Tech, and then two Makaba and two Purgatrio. Just standard. the good ones. Yeah, yeah, you for don't sure. need other stuff. Um, Psyduck. We did two Forbidden Graveyard. What does this card I do? I lost a sleeve. Uh, so you discard a card and uh, all graveyard effects are negated. So you don't have to activate this preemptively like um, a Whisk Dweller. So you can wait for them to do their chain links, like the three Gokis that go to the graveyard somehow. Mm -hmm. And you just chain this and everything's negated. So, Pretty good. Yeah, it's a quick play, it's cool. Uh, let's see, we did two of these for when Goki makes me go first for some reason. Sometimes it happens, sometimes we gamble it. Um, it's cool you can do this on the second summon. So mm -hmm. there you go. Uh, Super X? Yeah, Super X. And then Special, and then you just flip this. And if they don't have uh, some of the hot back row, their turn's over. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really good card. Super underrated. Um, and then three Spot Counselor. Um, I still like it, even though Impermanence is running around. But if they don't have Impermanence, it's really hard for them to come back. They, I mean, Ray could also hurt this card too, but it's a gamble. And if you see it early game, it's really hard for them to overcome. For sure. Uh, two Red Reboot for Alter Guys and Trickstar. Um, not really much to say about that. 
Uh, I did two mind crush uh, for the times that I think they let me go first because it's a small event. Everyone knows what almost everyone's playing. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they release like what after day two what everyone's playing. So I mean, war's gonna get around anyway. If you're playing this terrible deck, right? People are gonna find out. So mind crush is cool for going first. And it's not bad in second either. Mm -hmm. uh, two kaiju. I don't really much to say about that. I may even take this out because it's not good against uh, pure sky striker. Like they don't get to use their stuff, but like you can't push for game that far without them anchoring after this is gone. Right. Uh, and then I think like one of the spiciest attacks is the C. Yeah. What does this card do? So whenever they activate a spell that special summons a monster, um, you just throw this card out. It's a macrocosmos. Broken. So like for pure sky striker, like their first turn, like. Um, it's hard for them. I mean, losing the resources is, is bad. Same with Goki. Uh, if they insta fusion or if they, a lot of the, the Goki decks I've seen were switching over to the Sky Striker. They throw that in there. You throw this on Goki, and it's like uh, they lose like valuable resources that don't hit the grave. All right. So I took a chance with this. Another going going second card. So, mm -hmm. um, actually didn't see it at all, but in testing it was pretty good. Um, and that's it. Do you remember any of your matchups? Kind of. Kind of. That's okay. You don't have to go into any shout outs. Uh, yes, of course. Team Jobber. Um, yeah, but, uh, the team at home, Team Genesis. Um, I, yeah, I was supposed to like write out everyone's name and stuff, but that's a long list. But yeah, shout out to everyone. Shout out to uh, Paul Shefflin for coming in clutch and finding, letting me stay with him. That's cool. Shout out to him. He's around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, and uh, also shout out to you guys. Too. Shout out to us. Yeah. Shout out the team. Hell yeah. What was it? How do you say it? Team Guyanese, Guyanese Gamer. Guyanese Game. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. The, the it's R got left off. It, it's not Chinese food, it's over. Is it yeah. <laughs> It's a small coffee. Our right. manager's Guyanese. And we just took the name. Oh, okay. That's dope. Well, uh, thanks for the profile. We'll see you at another event.